Impressed with the performance of the two least Sea Guardian drones, the Indian Navy, Indian Army, and Indian Air Force will jointly procure 30 armed versions of the American unmanned aerial system. Earlier, India had inducted two unarmed Sea Guardian into the Indian Navy on lease under the emergency procurement in the backdrop of the tensions with China in Ladakh. The drones were leased for a period of a year to boost its intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. The deal is worth three billion American dollars. Viewers may note that in 2018, the U.S. had offered India the armed version of the Guardian drones, which were originally authorized for sale as unarmed and for surveillance purposes only. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why India is acquiring 30 armed MQ-9 Sea Guardian from the U.S. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Recent Chinese actions around the LAC or Line of Actual Control have clearly indicated that it is a threat. Chinese submarine force has expanded rapidly and possess around 70 subs. There have been several instances of Chinese submarines moving into the Indian Ocean. While India is deploying new submarines to counter the threat, the drones will act as a major force multiplier. India was earlier eyeing both the unarmed Sea Guardian drones for the surveillance and the armed MQ-9 Reaper for attack. But with the availability of armed Sea Guardian drones, it was decided that the single type will be acquired as it can perform both tasks. According to the deal, India will be acquiring 30 MQ-9 Sea Guardian, 10 each for the three services. The General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper, sometimes called Predator B, is an unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV, capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. The MQ-9 is the first hunter-killer UAV designed for long endurance, high-altitude surveillance. Reaper's main sensor is the nose-mounted MTS-B multi-spectral surveillance and targeting turret and its fuselage-mounted Lynx synthetic aperture radar. But Reaper's pylons are very versatile and can be used to carry a variety of tactical equipment like communications relay hops, electronic warfare pods, as well as Wide Area Aerial Surveillance WAAS, camera arrays. The additional sensors are designed to act in conjunction with the drone's main sensors. A navalized Reaper was proposed for the U.S. Navy's Broad Area Maritime Surveillance BAMS, program. General Atomics continued with the Naval Reaper concept, turning it into the Sea Guardian. It has an increased fuel capacity for endurance of up to 49 hours and has a range of 6,000 nautical miles or 11,000 kilometers. A key part of its mission set is Leonardo Sea Spray 7500E. V-2 AESA radar mounted as a centerline pod with inverse synthetic aperture radar that can spot surface targets including ships, submarine periscopes, and people during search and rescue operations. MQ-9 Sea Guardian drone has the ability to carry around 2,500 pounds or 1,100 kilograms of weapons payload through its external hardpoints. Its hardpoints enable it to deploy a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire, GBU-12 Paveway, and GBU-38 JDAM munitions. 
AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missile is capable of precision strikes. It can be used with many types of warheads like high-explosive, anti-tank, heat, or tandem anti-armor metal augmented charge MAC, or shape charge blast fragmentation. GBU-12 Paveway is an aerial laser-guided bomb. It's based on the Mark 82 500-pound general purpose bomb but has a nose-mounted laser seeker and fins for guidance. GPS guidance modes have been added to make the bomb more accurate. The GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition or JDAM, is a 500-pound or 226-kilogram bomb manufactured by Boeing using the Mark 82 bomb body. JDAM is a guidance kit that has an inertial guidance system coupled to a GPS receiver that converts unguided bombs into all-weather smart munitions. JDAM has a published range of up to 15 nautical miles or 28 kilometers. All of these are air-to-ground weapons, but MQ-9 Sea Guardian could potentially be armed with AIM-9X air-to-air missiles going forward. AIM-9X has a speed of Mach 2.5 and a range of 22 miles or 35 kilometers. It has infrared homing for guidance and has a 9.4 kilogram warhead. In November 2020, a trial was conducted for releasing sauna buoys, then processing information from them to track a training target. This led to the creation of an anti-submarine warfare package for the Sea Guardian, the first self-contained ASW package for a UAS. The package comprises potted sauna buoy dispenser systems SDS, using a pneumatic launch system to launch 10 A-size or 20 G-size buoys from each pod, and a sano buoy management and control system SMCS. The aircraft can carry up to four pods. China's aggressive posturing has meant that India can no longer be complacent. It's carrying out an upgrade to its existing Israeli Heron fleet and also taking steps to enhance its satellite intelligence capability. MQ-9 Sea Guardian will massively improve situational awareness as well as, since being armed with multiple weapon systems, it will be an excellent offensive platform. While the tactical implications of this deal are significant, the timing is also equally noteworthy. US President Joe Biden, along with Prime Minister of Japan and Australia, will join Prime Minister Modi for a virtual quad meeting on the 12th of March. Quad or Quadrilateral Security Dialogue is an informal strategic forum between the United States, Japan, India, and Australia, which is likely to play a major role when it comes to dealing with China in the Indo-Pacific. Also, the decision comes just before U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin's visit to India later this month. It's increasingly understood that there is an ever-growing synergy between nations opposed to China and technology sharing will be the new norm between these countries. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.